So I'm here today to show you how I go from this sad ponytail with my bio hair to a completely blonde updo ponytail messy bun with this blonde wig from Hairlicious in the style carrying me. So I have had a lot of regrowth in my hair, not from doing anything. I had telogen effluvium and a lot of those patches where I was missing hair have started to come back. There's still a lot of really thin areas and some of my hair is really short, some of it's longer, so it's kind of all over the place. But if I do put it in a ponytail, I kind of want to show you the ends are still really damaged and it doesn't look so great. I, I fill in my spots here with some L'Oreal spray um, and I still have some short pieces that'll come out. It's just not totally the best look yet. So I don't know what's going to happen to my hair. I don't know if it's going to come back completely or if it's going to stay overall thin because it is much thinner than it used to be. But in the meantime, I still wear wigs all the time, so I wanna show you how I get this blonde wig up in a ponytail. So first things first, I'm gonna take out my hair, let it down. Okay, now you can see the areas I'm talking about. The front is still really short. I also have some spaces in the back which are just like not the same length as the rest of the hair. And this is when my hair is completely straightened and it's just not that attractive right now. It just looks really fried. Um, even though I barely put heat on it these days because I wear wigs all the time, but I'm gonna go ahead and secure my hair Before I put on the wig. I'm just putting it in a really low ponytail And then um, I always take a clip like this Just a clip like that like a silver clip um, and I just kind of pin the ponytail to the back of the head I am gonna use a wig grip now. I showed this one by the wig fix last time um, it's from the Renatural. It's called the Wig Fix. So my updated thoughts on this is that I do like this wig fix. My only thing I would say is if you have very sensitive hair or a very sensitive head or your hair falls out easily, this might not be best for you because it does like seriously hold the hair. And I did notice some hairs on it when I took my wig off at the end of the day, but I think with my regular wig cap that does the same thing too. But just keep in mind that this is ultra secure. So if you have a super sensitive head, this might not be for you. But I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. Okay, I'm gonna put it on like, like that. And if you need to like readjust the ponytail, sometimes I do that, I'll like readjust it. But it should look something like this now some people like it closer some people like it further away it really just depends um i don't have any of my bio hair out at, on like the side of my ears for this wig because this wig is much different than the actual color of my hair um so i've shown this wig in a couple videos before it's the carrying me style by hairalicious and i do plan to like curl this um i'm going to show how i kind of fix the hairline make it mo look more realistic but I'm gonna go ahead and put this on, okay? It has this lovely little strap right here, which helps a lot. Okay, I can see the lace is kind of folded, so I'm gonna just fix it like that. Bring it down over, I always wanna bring it down over that wig grip, okay. Just gonna brush it out. Sometimes when you put it on, when I put it on, the lace will roll under. So you wanna make sure it's not rolled under and all the hair from under it is out. Okay, so now that I have the wig on, I'm going to try to put it in a ponytail. Now, obviously none of my bio hair is going to be out because this wig is very blonde and my hair is very dark. So I do kind of do it in steps. I'll kind of start and then I'll go back and kind of repeat a process. So keep in mind that it will be different if your hair is closer to the color of the natural wig. Um, if your hair is not, then it's gonna require different steps. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out a little bit of hairs at the front. Now this does kind of already have some baby hairs right here pulled out. So I'm gonna leave those out a little bit. And I'm gonna take a comb like this and I'm just gonna pull down the hairs 
on the side as well because those are also going to kind of act as like baby hairs on the side. Okay. And I take more than I want because then I'm gonna go back and redo the ponytail. Now also one thing to remember is that this hair came styled in the middle part. I did change it to a little bit of a side part, but whenever you put it up into a ponytail, that would be going straight back. You might have to train the hair to do that. So overnight, spray it or pull it back, whatever. But it does take a little bit of time to train it because remember, it's like used to going in one parted way. So it might take a lot of training to move. Okay. So I'm just kind of slowly brushing it. My goal is not to get this hair like straight back. That's not my goal. Now, as you can see, as I'm pulling it up, you can see the wig start to come up on the band. That's okay, because I'm gonna fix that in a little bit. But I'm going to just start pulling back some of the hair. Now, I'm not going for like a perfect look here at all. You can go much higher if you want to. All I'm gonna do is get it up there. One, two, and three. Now, there's no way I could wear it like this, and I'm gonna show you the back because it would be incredibly obvious. So go ahead, take a look. You can see that you can see the wig grip and you can see this. Now, some options are, you would have to make the wig not as high. So I have this wig grip underneath. I'm going to pull the wig back down over it, okay? I'm also going to take this comb and I'm going to pull out some hairs that are gonna just help me like make it look like there's hair coming out from the bottom of the head. Now, if your hair is the same color as the wig, if you have some of your bio hair out underneath, that would be like perfect because it would help kind of mimic like that it's like your little baby hairs at the bottom or like short hair you have that's not long enough. So I like to kind of pull out a good amount, make it look like I have some short hairs and then I'll end up like pinning some later on and I'll kind of do this all the way down. Now I'm also gonna readjust this area like that. Pull out some baby hairs here. And you can always like pin the wig, use a bobby pin to pin the wig, um, the bottom of the wig under the wig cap. So you could use a bobby pin and no one would ever see it so and you could curl the front pieces i'm gonna go back and try to just make it more of like a messy bun okay so i kind of have a messy bun situation going down i'm gonna keep pulling this hair underneath and typically I would use a mirror to do this back part I would again not keep as much as not not as much of this hair down but I would definitely pin up some you would kind of look in the mirror to see I don't have a mirror with me right now but you'd use a mirror to kind of see how much you have okay and then I'm just gonna use this fun little scrunchie to kind of make it cute this like star scrunchie from from Target Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn around so you can see what it looks like. So the hardest part, like I said, is having really dark hair and trying to pull this off. Now, I don't know if I'd go like running on something like this, but or anything wild, but if it, it does match your hair or if you did a really low pony, it definitely would stay put. A higher pony like this, it requires a lot more work um, and it might come off a little bit, but also, if, just like I said, if your hair is the same color, you're pretty much good to go. Um, I'm able to fake it even though none of my hair is out and it looks pretty realistic. I did wear my hair out like this the other day and nobody really said anything, even though I felt like I was more self-conscious about this back part. But that's why I kind of pull down more hair than like someone normally would, just so they can't see. Um, but yeah, it's pretty easy. This is a full lace wig and I think it's like probably the easiest 
type of wig to like put up in a ponytail just with lace. It looks pretty realistic and I love it. So if you have any other questions about this look, if you want to see what it looks like in any other way, any other styles, let me know and I'll try to make that for you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.